embraces of Lord Drama and his followers. Chapter Eight. Lord Drama and his followers. Just the sound of this seems scary. Drama is a Sanskrit word that means ghost king. The Chinese or the Indians consider southern Jammu Kashmir to consist of ten drama lords in Asia. But this sutra is actually referring to more than the drama lords in China, India. Or Asia in general, it is referring to all the drama laws throughout the universe. There is a lot drama in each world, so there are infinitely many drama laws. Some drama laws come from other worlds. Some come from certain planets. Some come from the moon, and some come from other iron ring mountains. In short, where there are human beings, there are drama laws. Where there are no human beings, there are no yama lords. How come? Without humans, there are no ghosts. Without ghosts, there are no Buddhas. Would that would be a world without Buddhas? Since that world has no Buddhas, it has no yama lords. The key lies with humans. Without human beings, there is nothing. Human beings control the world, create everything, are in need of everything, and use everything. Without people, essentially there would be no Buddhas, no Bodhisattvas, no hungry ghosts, no animals, and not any anything in this world. Everything is made by people. What made people? People are made from the mind. Not only does the mind create people, but the mind can also create heaven and earth, hungry ghosts and animals, and everything else. The ten drama realms are made from the mind alone. The mind creates the ten drama realms and destroys the ten drama realms too. The Avatam Saka Sutra says, "Anyone who wishes to know all Buddhas throughout the three births of time should contemplate the nature of the drama realm. Everything is made from the mind alone. Your our mind consists of as many miscellaneous thoughts as waves on water. This miscell." Linear's thoughts express all the mountains, rivers, and great earth in the world. Everything is created by people's false thoughts. People's false thoughts are as numerous as dust motes. They are dust motes outside because we have false thoughts inside. Without false thoughts inside, the dust motes outside are empty. Even the atoms that compose the dust motes are empty. Wherever there are human beings, there are ghosts, there are Buddhas, and hence there are Yama lords. Not only are there Yama lords, but his followers too. Praises. What does this chapter praise? It praises the great, awesome might of Earth Star Bodhisattvas, inconceivable wisdom and states. This is the eighth chapter in this sutra. Sutra. At that time, from within the Iron Mountain, Iron Ring Mountain. Lord Drama and his following of infinite ghost kings came before the Buddha in the Chajashimsha heaven. They were the ghost king Evil Poison, the ghost king Many Evils, the ghost king Great Argument, the ghost king White Tiger, the ghost king Blood Tiger, the ghost king Crimson Tiger, the ghost king Spreading Disaster, the ghost king Flying Body, the ghost king Lightning Flash. The Ghost King Wolf Tooth, the Ghost King Thousand Eyes, the Ghost King Animal Eater, the Ghost King Rock Bearer, the Ghost King Lord of Bad News, the Ghost King Lord of Calamities, the Ghost King Lord of Food, the Ghost King Lord of Wealth, the Ghost King Lord of Domestic Animals, the Ghost King Lord of Birds. The Ghost King Lord of Beasts, the Ghost King Lord of Mountain Sprites, the Ghost King Lord of Birth, the Ghost King Lord of Life, the Ghost King Lord of Sickness, the Ghost King Lord of Danger, the Ghost King Three Eyes, the Ghost King Four Eyes, the Ghost King Five Eyes, the Ghost King Chi Li Shi, the Great Ghost King Chi Li Shi, the Ghost King Chi Li Cha, the Great Ghost King Chi Li Cha, the Ghost King No Cha. The great ghost king Nocha and other such great ghost kings. With them were hundreds of thousands of minor ghost kings who dwelt throughout Jambuvipa, 
picture presiding over certain jurisdictions. Commentary at that time from within the Iron Ring Mountain in the Sea of Flower Treasury Worms, human beings live in the Lotus Banner World on the 33rd layer. There are seven gold mountains outside the Lotus Banner World. Outside of the seven gold mountains, there are seven fragrances. This Iron Ring Mountain, composed of metallic matter, is outside of the seven fragrances. In this Iron Ring Mountain, there are Lord Drama and his following of infinite ghost kings. Lord Drama is like Jesus in saying that he is the Son of God. He also calls himself the Son of God, an emperor in the human realm, also refers to himself as the Son of God. But which Son of God is greater or lesser? There is not any more that is great or less, who named them sons of gods. The Buddha acknowledged that a Yama lord would be a son of God. The Buddha also acknowledged that an emperor can call himself a son of God. Jesus is the only one who bestowed a title on himself. Indulging in his fancies, he named himself son of God. No one will object if I say I am the son of God, but I do not enjoy being son of God. It is not worth it. Why does Lord Yama like this unworthy title? It is because that is his business. After Buddhist monks are ordained as bhikshus and receive their precepts, they are teachers. They are teachers for gods and humans. They are the master in the heavens and human realm. Not only can they be sons of gods, they can be the grandmaster of sons of gods, which is why I say that title is not worth much. They came before the Buddha in the Chajachimsha heaven. Since the Buddha was speaking the drama for his mother in the Chajachimsha heaven, Lord Drama and Ghost Kings came here to listen to the Sutra. They were the Ghost King Evil Poison. Among the Ghost Kings, there is one called Ghost King Evil Poison. This Ghost King is the worst. How? He is extremely vicious, evil, and venomous. venomous. He wants to swallow, swallow any being he sees in one gulp. Is he not harsh? He is mean in thought and vicious in speech, which means that he deals with bad people rather than good people. Bad people are mean psychologically and mean verbally. So they can only be dealt with through viciousness and meanness. You are evil, but he is even more evil than you. You are venomous, but he is even more venomous than you. Do not think this ghost king evil poison is someone we need to fear. Do not be afraid. As long as you recite the Buddha's name, he will be respectful. If you do not recite the Buddha's name, his hatred will rise. Once you recite the Buddha's name, he will not be evil anymore. Once you recite the sutras, he becomes good too. So no need to be afraid of him. As long as you recite the Buddha's name, recite the sutra, develop the resolve for Buddha, then however evil he may be, he no longer will be, and however venous he may be, he no longer will be. He turns into a drama protector. Why? The ghost king evil poison appears to look like an evil and poisonous ghost king, but has a heart of a bodhisattva's compassion. He uses corrupt and vicious methods to save living beings. Otherwise, why would he be with son of God Yama? Son of God Yama does the same. Although this ghost king is named evil poison, he is not really evil and poisonous. He is respectful to the to Buddhists. So do not be afraid of him. If you mention my name in particular, saying, My master is so and so, he will definitely give you face. Why? I signed a contract with him. I said, As long as any of my disciples come to you and mention my name, you must hand all their offenses to me. As long as you mention me, I guarantee he will not poison you. The Ghost King Many Evils Although Ghost King Evil Poison is evil and poisonous, 
He's not evil enough and not poisonous enough. There is also the God King, many evils who incurs countless evils to cataract living beings who do countless evils. I believe all of you have now changed your faults for the better, so that you will not be so evil. How is this God King, many evils, many King evils evil? He does things such as murdering his father, murdering his mother, murdering our hearts, wrecking the harmony of the Sangha, and shedding the blood of a Buddha. The Ghost King great argument enjoy enjoys debates in particular. He can provide an argument where there is no argument to speak of. He counteracts unreasonable debaters who insist that they have a good reason. They obviously broke the precepts, but they say they did not. They lie and treat others. This Ghost King great argument deals with this type of people, so be careful. Remember not to see the Ghost King great argument, because when you do, you will lose any basis for your argument because he is great at arguing. The Ghost King White Tiger The Ghost King has the body of ghost but the head of a white tiger. The Ghost King Blood Tiger has a tiger head is bleeding. The Ghost King Crimson Tiger is red all over and has the head of a tiger. Why do these ghost kings have tiger heads? They want to look beastly and horrifying so that anyone who has committed the ten evils and the five rebellious acts will tremble in fear. The ghost king spreading disaster. Disasters are inauspicious events. He makes these things happen to you. Accidents, thefts, fires, and others result as a part of cause and effect. Everything has its cause and effect. Results occur due to some cause. The Ghost King Flying Body This Ghost King can fly anywhere without having to buy an air ticket or a ride on a rocket. He can fly faster than a rocket. Anyone who wants to learn to fly should go and find the Ghost King Flying Body. This Ghost King has such great skills. The Ghost King Lightning Flash his eyes are as bright as lightning flash. The Ghost King Wolf Tooth. His Ghost King has vicious wolf like teeth grown outside of his mouth. The Ghost King Thousand Eyes does not have the same eyes as the Thousand Handed and Thousand Eyed Kuan Yin Bodhisattva. This type of ghost has lots of horns on them. Their horns are similar to ox horns. But on each tip of the horn is an eye. How is the eye grown? It is concave and grows out of the bone. There is no flesh around the eye, only an eye inset in its body. So when you look over, it is like a really bright flash of light. A Ghost King Animal Eater What does this Ghost King eat in particular? It eats animals. What kind of animals? It may eat tigers or any animal that is vicious. The Ghost King Rock Bearer To show how strong he is, this type of Ghost King carries a rock as heavy as several tens of thousands of pounds. When he sees someone who has committed offenses, he smashes the person with his large piece of rock so that this person is flattened into a real thin pancake. The Ghost King Lord of Bad News always delivers bad news. When you are sleeping, he tells you tales in your dream. Did you know you are going to die tomorrow? When you only have today left to live, he delivers a letter of bad news to you in the form of a nightmare. The Ghost King was of calamities not only delivers bad news in a letter, but actually makes some calamity happen to you. Accidents such as car accidents, sunken ships, air crashes, and the like. The Ghost King Lord of Food What you eat each day is fixed. The story I told about the supervisor over food is a true one. What dishes we eat and what we are made of are all fixed. What we eat tomorrow is fixed too. Imperceptibly, someone is assigning these portions to you. The Ghost King Lord of Wealth 
Someone made an offering to me today, and it has to do with the ghost king lot of wealth. He told people to donate some money to the master. Really, this is not of bio hair. There are no wrong things in the world. Nothing that occurs without cause and effect. You have created the causes to become my disciples. No one can force cause and effect. It is something major to deny the law of cause and effect. We must not discredit it. The Ghost King Lord of domestic animals governs all kinds of animals. The Ghost King Lord of birds governs over folks. The Ghost King Lord of beasts. Earlier, it was the Ghost King Lord. Of domestic animals, now is the lot of wild beasts. There are no domestic、uh, domesticated beasts really. There is a ghost king lot of beasts in the eastern La Beast Lazuli Mountain. He governs over beasts such as tigers, hares, and dragons. In the southern Glass Mountain, there is a ghost king who governs over beasts such as snakes, horses, and goat. There is a silver mountain with a ghost king that governs over monkeys, chickens, and dogs. In the north, there is a gold mountain that is formed with gold. But do not try to escape it. Go there, like the way people did in the old gold mountain or new gold mountain. That gold mountain cannot be touched or reached. There is a ghost king in this gold mountain who governs over swan, rats, and owls. The ghost king lot of beasts and the ghost king lot of domestic animals govern over different things and have their own area and stuff. Area and stuff. The ghost king lot of mountain sprites. When there are problems with soil, wood, metal, ropes, or large trees, it is because of mountain sprites and their like. The supervisor for these ghosts is the Ghost King Lord of Mountain Sprites. In the third assembly of the Suragama Mantra, is the series of ghost kings in charge of such things. La Sha Po Ye, Chu La Po Ye, Er Chi Ni Po Ye, Wu Tua Chia Po Ye, Pi Sha Po Ye, She Sa Du La Po Ye, Po La Chu Er Chia La Po Ye. To share a poor ye, the ghost king lord of birth governs human births. He will make sure that good people enjoy safe labors, while bad people suffer more during labor or cannot complete their labor at all. They are punished so that they may become enlightened, reform, and renew themselves.